Welcome to the journey in this fifth week of our lockdown. Today, South Africa celebrates Freedom Day. On the 27th of April 1994, the first democratic elections took place in South Africa, and the country began a new era. In theory, we know there was political freedom, but sadly, many people are not free. They live shackled by extreme poverty. It would be true to suggest that those who continue to live in crushing poverty have never realized the freedom of 1994. But there is another freedom that I want to reflect on today. A freedom that is perhaps more essential and deeper than any political freedom. Spiritual freedom. A freedom that really allows us to be completely free. Let me explain what I mean. In the Christian Church, St. Ignatius of Loyola is considered an important guide in the area of spiritual direction. And spiritual freedom, he came to see, was an essential part of the spiritual journey. Ignatius encouraged people to be open to their emotions and how to learn to reflect on them and understand what they meant. He, of course, was an ex-soldier and, surprisingly, he paid attention to his emotions. It does not really fit into the stereotype of a soldier. He would have been taught to value reason and self-control and rational planning. And we know too that he had a very strong ego. He even admits that himself. Yet his conversion experience introduced him to an awareness of the interior life with all of, it, of its facets and nuances. Now the spiritual exercises of Saint Ignatius encourage full engagement with the physical senses, with spiritual devotion, with what we would generally call intuition and deep down desires and with any interior movements which include our emotions. Saint Ignatius of course was getting in touch one could say with his feminine qualities long before psychologist Carl Jung came along to explain them. And so spiritual freedom requires that we learn how to discern those personal interior movements of our souls. If we want to be truly free, we have to acknowledge our emotions, we have to receive them, feel them, and reflect on them. Our emotions are very powerful tools, and especially in the spiritual life, because they are indicators of what is happening within us. And if we learn to accept them as gifts in our human experience, we can begin to work with them in spiritually healthy ways. Those who are spiritually free are in tune with their emotions. They recognize anger or fear or greed. And so often, when we do not reflect on our emotions, they control the way that we live in the world. When we are guilty or greedy or fearful, we can be selfish or self-centered, for example. And this leads to behaviors such as excluding others, or in the extreme, thinking that one group or tribe is better than another. And one can see how this leaves not just the materially poor shackled, but it also leaves those who are unwilling to help them shackled too. They are as well imprisoned in their unfreedom. The true freedom we are invited to seek is a spiritual freedom, our inner disposition. A freedom in which I'm not afraid to feel deep down emotions, acknowledge them, reflect on them and assess them. Our inability to feel or our unwillingness to name our various emotions allows them to hold us captive and we are not freed by rational thought alone. We like to think that we are, 
but rather we attain much higher degrees of freedom when our emotions do not control our reactions. Saint Ignatius, like so many of the men and women saints we revere, found profound spiritual freedom that allowed them to let go of all the trappings of this life that they felt that they needed and live a radically different way. And that's ultimately what spiritual freedom does. It opens us to follow the invitation and the lead of God in our lives. Friends, you know, our lives and our country could be a radically different place if we sought the one true freedom that would enable us to take everybody into our worldview and our vision that would enable us to make sure that we look after everybody and that is spiritual freedom. You might want to reflect on this Freedom Day. Am I truly, interiorly, spiritually free?